in our last lesson we discussed at great length what was happening to the jews in nazi germany firstly they were excluded from the society in all possible ways then they were sent to live in the ghettos following which they were finally being annihilated because hitler believed that that was the only solution to the jewish problem now here we can see that between 1933 and 1938 the nazis terrorized pauperized and segregated the jews as we mentioned in our last lesson by pauperized we mean that the jews were reduced to a state of poverty it was inevitable the jews were losing their jobs they were being expelled from government services their businesses were being boycotted so it goes without saying that they were reduced to poverty and they were being segregated and they were being segregated from the pure and healthy german aryans after this period the jews were taken to the concentration camps and the extermination camps and it is in these places that the jews were gassed and burned to death so most of these extermination camps were established in germany occupied poland and here you can see the fate that the jews met at the gas chambers they were being reduced to nothing because earlier on they had lost all their property they had lost their right to live so to speak and hitler believed that they should be completely swept out of existence which is why they were gassed and burned to death in the death chambers a point we raised in our last lesson was that hitler believed that the final solution to the jewish problem was their complete elimination and we used a particular term to refer to this process of completely eliminating the jews this term is the holocaust the holocaust is hitler's anti-semitic genocide but these are new terminologies to us what do these words holocaust and genocide mean let us now find these out firstly we begin with the concept of genocide genocide refers to mass killing that is deliberately targeted against a certain ethnic group community or a nation so in a genocide huge number of people are killed when any particular community any group or any nation is targeted and the extreme kind of genocide in the nazi germany took place in the form of the holocaust the holocaust refers to the systemic genocide of the jews undertaken by the nazi state during world war 2 so during this time anti-semitic propaganda was at its peak in nazi germany and millions of jews were being killed during this time official reports say that many millions of jews lost their lives to the holocaust and the jews were killed in different kinds of ways be that in violent riots pogroms mass killings mass shootings and being charged to death in the concentration camps so this is what we understand by the holocaust and the holocaust is one of the deadliest phases that has gone down in human history because prior to this human beings had not been witness to mass killing of a certain community at such a high extent here we see two images and at the first glance you might not be able to understand what these are all about well if i tell you what these pictures are about shiver will be sent down your spine this is because the first image shows you a pile of bones and skulls that were there in the majdanek concentration camp in poland and it was found in 1944 and the second image is a pile of ashes and human bones that the us soldiers found at the buchenwald concentration camp in germany in april 14 1945 so this is what the undesirables in nazi germany were reduced to 
so many millions of lives were actually reduced to these piles of ashes and skulls and bones the holocaust is a spine chilling event that has gone down in history and it was hitler who was the architect of it all so can you understand how hitler had come to power and ruled as one of the most ruthless dictators ever he had sold the dream of a better germany to millions of germans when they were shoved in a state of severe economic crisis and in a matter of few years this was what was happening in germany before proceeding with this lesson let me ask you a question which term refers to the systemic genocide of the jews during the second world war was it the reign of terror the holocaust the great purge or the great fear well the correct answer is the holocaust the holocaust refers to the systemic genocide against the jews that was carried out by the nazi party during world war 2 many of you might be familiar with anne frank and chances are that some of you might have also read the very famous book the diary of a young girl well if you do not know who anne frank was allow me to introduce you to her anne frank was a jew who was living in germany during the nazi rule in the initial years anne frank along with her family had sought refuge in netherlands but the secret nazi police that was the gestapo found her family out she was then sent to the concentration camp and anne frank used to write many letters and diaries when the family went in hiding in netherlands before they were arrested by the gestapo now anne frank unfortunately enough did not survive and she passed away a few months before the end of the second world war it was her father otto frank who was the only surviving member of the family who then published her letters and diaries in the form of the very famous book that came to be known as the diary of a young girl and the diary of a young girl was first published in dutch and then it was published in english and this records the horror the trauma that this young girl went through simply on account of being a jew in nazi germany so this was what was happening to the people who had no say who really did not have any mistake on their part and they were simply being slaughtered like cattle in nazi germany now the nazi germany had many concentration camps and extermination camps spread throughout and in these extermination camps there were gas chambers in the gas chambers poisonous gases in the likes of carbon monoxide were released and the jews and the other undesirables who were sent to those death chambers were charred and poisoned to death and these concentration camps even exist today these actually record human suffering human trauma the horror of nazi germany what you see on the screen is the famous auschwitz concentration camp now the auschwitz concentration camp was a complex that contained around 40 concentration and extermination camps and mind you all these concentration and extermination camps were surrounded by electric wires so that the prisoners and the criminals could not escape we have learned that the german invasion of poland in 1939 actually began the second world war and when germany occupied and divided poland all the poles were forced to evict they were thrown away from their houses and their lands and out of nowhere they were made to live on the streets they were also put to death most of these poles were arrested and sent to the concentration camps now all this was happening simply to maintain the purity and the dominance of the aryan race 
So can you understand how megalomania, how the hunger for power, how a flawed ideology can completely corrupt the mind of a human? Hitler's mind was completely tainted by the flawed racial ideology that he believed was the reality. And it was for this reason that all these sections of the society, be that the Jews, the Poles, the Slavs, the Russians, the Gypsies, were severely suffering. So many people lost their lives to this. They were hungry and poor, and worse ever, they were poisoned to death. So when the Poles were evicted from their lands, they were then sent like cattle to the general government. This was established in Poland where all the undesirables were forced to stay. And Polish intelligentsia and Jews were exterminated. We understand that the Jews were exterminated on account of Hitler's anti-Semitic propaganda. But why do you think was the Polish intelligentsia also exterminated? This is because Hitler believed that if these intellectuals continued to leave, they might be able to do something to overthrow his rule, to do something to question his rule. And so he wanted to nip the bud. He killed all these people in the extermination camps. Now this was a time of horror in every kind of way. When the Poles were convicted and arrested, the Polish children who bore any resemblance to the Aryans were assessed by race experts. It is as if all these children were now simple guinea pigs who were being assessed by race experts. Now why do you think were the race experts actually assessing these children whether they had any resemblance with the Aryans? This is because whichever child passed the test, that child was then brought up by German families. So these youths were exposed to ultimate kind of horror and trauma. They were being assessed by the race experts as you can see here. And if these children had resemblance to the Aryans, then they were taken away from their own Polish family. And instead they were then sent to German families to be brought up. And when many of these children did not carry any resemblance with the Aryans, they were then sent off to the orphanages. And needless to mention, most of these children were left to perish in the orphanages. Here are certain images that show you what was being done in Nazi Germany simply in the name of being assessed by race experts. So it were not just the youths and the children. All civilians, so to speak, were exposed to the horror and trauma of living through the Nazi rule. The Nazi rule was one of the most atrocious and horrible that the world has ever seen. And all these innocent people were actually lambs to the slaughter. They are Mengele twins, which we found out later on what that meant. Mengele would count us every morning and he wanted to know how many guinea pigs he had this day. I was used in two types of experiments. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, they would put me naked in a room with my twin sister and many other twins up to eight hours a day. They would measure every part of my body, compare it to my twin sister, and then compare it to charts. On alternate days, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, they would take us to a blood lab. They would tie both of my arms to restrict the blood flow, take a lot of blood from my left arm, and give me a minimum of five injections in the right arm. The content of those injections, we didn't know then, nor do we know today. 
after one of those injections, I became very ill with a very high fever. My legs and arms were swollen and very painful. I was trembling as the August sun was burning my skin and I had huge red spots covering my body. The next visit to the blood lab, they didn't tie my arms. Instead of that, measure my fever. And I was immediately taken to the hospital. So what we watched just now was a woman who recorded how several kinds of scientific tests were performed on her. And this is just a fraction of what was happening in Nazi Germany in reality. So this lesson did not just introduce us to the concept of the Holocaust, it also introduced us to the horror and the trauma that the Holocaust brought about in the world. We learned that the Holocaust was the systemic genocide of the Jews during the Nazi rule. And during this time, many millions of Jews lost their lives in the most horrible kinds of ways. In our subsequent lesson, we will be focusing on how this Nazi propaganda was being sprayed among the masses. How Hitler was trying his best to infuse the minds of the Germans with anti-Semitic ideas, with ideas that were rooted in his flawed racial ideology. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to all our 5000 plus amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests. Get all your doubts resolved instantly. Learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and iPads. So at Delta Step, learning is not just fun and easy, it's rewarding too. So register for free now.